Hi friends, this is a practice for those rainy, cold, kind of sludgy days where you just want to snuggle in and nourish the body. All you'll need is a comfortable place to practice, your favorite props, and of course yourself. When you're ready, we'll get started. Let's go ahead and find a comfortable seat. I'm elevated on a prop here, so you can add a pillow or a block, or if it's comfortable just to sit on the floor, feel free to do that. And then you wanna take the legs a little wider than normal. So think about lining up the heels of your feet so you get a nice opening to the hips. And then just let the shin bones press down towards the floor and you sit up nice and tall. If you're sitting on the floor and your shin bones don't go down or it's really tight in your hips, elevate your seat, really good idea. Once you're there, anchor down in your sits bones, kind of feel them pressing down on either side, and then grow nice and tall through the spine, create space. Imagine you're reaching the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. And then let's just draw the shoulders up towards the earlobes as well. So you're reaching the shoulders towards the ceiling, the head towards the ceiling, lift, lift, lift. Press those shoulders back and then let them drop down. Let the hands draw towards the outer knees or maybe rest on the thighs, whatever's comfortable here. And then let's close the eyes. So closing the eyes, relaxing the jaw. Just noticing maybe the temperament of the face. Noticing where you're holding tension or where you feel at ease. Relax the eyelids, relax the jaw. Relax the throat. Breath in through the nose and just allow that breath to travel downwards. Let it swim around in the lowest regions of the lungs. And then your exhale, just releasing the belly. Feel that breath drawing upwards and out. And then maybe begin to notice the temperament of the body. If you can give kind of your state right now an emotion or a feeling, what would that be? And if it is a rainy, cold, sludgy day, wherever you are today when you're watching this video, Notice how that translates into your body, your feelings, your overall emotional state. And you just bring awareness. And you settle the mind so we're not attaching to that feeling or emotion or temperament. You're just noticing and giving yourself a starting point. Maybe you feel content today. Maybe you feel tired or sluggish. Maybe you feel angry. Maybe you feel sad. Maybe you feel hopeful or weepy or whatever. Whatever it is that kind of stirs up for you. Notice it. Experience it in your body. Notice where it may, maybe brings some weight or brings some lightness. Can you sit with that for a moment or two here? Not wallowing in it, but just noticing and observing. And then use that starting point to now transition into an intention for yourself. Something that is maybe bigger than yourself in this moment, in this time and space. And think big, think bigger than this moment. What do you wish for yourself or dream for yourself or hope for yourself that's bigger than this moment, that's bigger than all your moments. And 
and then sit with that abundance for a moment. Feel the breath just expanding around it. Feel that expanding past your body, filling the space of the room that you're in, filling the region that you happen, happen to be in in this moment. And then just shine it out towards the sky and the stars and the sun and the moon. And bring the palms together to your heart space, just holding that intention close to yourself. Bow the chin to the chest. And then inhale, reach the fingertips high, extend the arms, bring breath as you extend up. Exhale, open the arms halfway, turn the palms down, and then finish that exhale as you press the air down. Inhale, arms, palms up, reach up. Palms press together, exhale as you make that commitment palm and palm together to your heart space. And then again, inhale, reach up. Extend up, extend out like a ray of sunshine as you reach through the fingertips. You can keep the eyes closed or you can find a soft gaze and then inhale, reach up. Palms press, exhale. Feel that release of the shoulders down. You're just finding gentle movement through the upper body. Inhale, reach up last time. Exhale, extend down. And get inhale up. And take a twist towards the right and then exhale as you extend. So again, eyes can stay closed or you can give a soft gaze downwards. Left hand to the outside of the right thigh. Rotate the right shoulder back, left shoulder towards that center line. You're opening the chest and you're finding the twist in that thoracic band of the spine. And lingering here, hold the left hand, reach the right arm up and over. One of my favorite stretches, you guys. I can't do this enough in classes. And then left, right arm's going to reach forward, left arm's going to come underneath, and you're just going to press the palms back to back. Maybe wrap around. Inhale, let the elbows lift. Exhale, round it out and over. And just cue the shoulders down away from the ears. Let the fingertips move forward as the pinky edges of the hands draw down. And then breathe here, breathe really deep breaths and see where you feel restricted. And then use that to massage into the muscles of the shoulders and then around the shoulder blades. And the tops of the shoulders, mid back, and maybe you feel some tenderness in the lower back, breathe deep there. Okay, go ahead and reach up, hook the thumbs, big breath in, lift the heart, slight back bend. And then take the twist over towards that left side, right hand to the outer left side. And then you feel that right shoulder kind of centering up, left shoulder moving back in space. And you feel a broadening through the collarbones, through the center of the chest. And still grow tall with the inhale and use the exhale to kind of ring out the spine. Nice, beautiful rinse for the belly, rinse for the spine. Good. Right hand's going to stay where it is and then sweep that left arm up and over. Just breathe into the side body. You don't have to go wild with your extension and your stretching. Just kind of feel what begins to resonate some sensation for you and just linger there. Good. And then go ahead and bring that left arm down. Right arm moves underneath, hands back to back. And if you're doing this and that's really tight terrain for you, you can always just press the forearms together. You get a ni nice sensation there as well. Otherwise, you can press the palms together, inhale, elbows up, exhale, round it out and over. I just want to stay soft. If it's a cold day outside or dreary day outside, find your home inwards in yourself. It might feel really nice to come home in your body, in your mind, in your spirit. Just being with your own temperament for a few moments. Good, and then inhale, reach up, hook the thumbs, take that stretch up, spread through the fingers, give them a nice wiggle, look up, 
lift the heart as you find that back bend. And then exhale as you release. Go ahead and switch the cross of the leg. So opposite foot in front. Remember, you're just lining up the ankle. So you're really nice and wide in your seat. You can adjust your sits bones, shin bones presses down. It's an external opening. So you feel that dialing open of the hips. And then go ahead and just walk the hands forward. Keep pressing the sit bones down. If it feels good to round to the back body, maybe you want to press into the fingertips and push back. Just get the stretch through the back. Lower, mid, upper, but just make sure you're down with the shoulders. If you want to take it more into the hips, your belly's going to come forward. Shin bones press down, and then you can come onto the forearms if that feels good. A couple of rounds of breath here. So if you're doing that kind of forward fold, it's a compression into the belly. So you're doing some nice massage for your inner workings. Your colons, your intestines. Use the breath as a tool to really move some things along. Okay, and one more breath here. And then go ahead and come up. And we're going to reach up once again. So reach the fingertips high. We'll say hi to Felix. See you later, buddy. <laughs> and then exhale. Hug the elbows back. Squeeze through the fingers. Open the chest. Good. Inhale up. Reach up. It's so you can tickle the ceiling. And then exhale. Pull the elbows back. Squeeze the shoulder blades in together. And just let that movement feel really good for the arms and the shoulders. We'll do one more breath here. And then breath out. Actually, let's do two more. We'll take it into lion's breath. Inhale up. And then exhale. Maybe stick the tongue out. <sighs> Pure cleansing breath there. So one more just like that. And then exhale. <sighs> Good. We'll transition over into hands and knees. So coming into tabletop position here. You can set your props to the side. And then we'll come in to tabletop. So palms in, underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And then we'll just drop the hips over towards the right as far as they'll go. Swing around to the left. Inhale forward. Exhale towards the right. Over to the left. Inhale forward. And just do a few rounds of breath just like that. So you're moving into the outer glutes, outer hips, and just a nice release in the lower back. So you don't have to overlink this one. Just find your range of motion, so deep circles. And then let's switch directions so over towards the left, to the right. Inhale forward. And nice and easy on the knees. If you feel any discomfort, please drop a towel or a cushion underneath your knees. Good. And then we'll come onto our bellies. I'm going to just take a moment here, just palm on palm, forehead towards the back of the hands. Curl the right toe under, pull that right heel back. Release. Left toes curl under, pull the heel, stretch to the back of the leg, release the lower back. And then uncurl. Let the shoulders relax. Let the third eye be really heavy into the back of the hands. Take a few rounds of breath here, just drawing into yourself. And come back into your intention. And then we're going to reach the right arm out. So extending the right hand. Right hand in line with the right shoulder. Left hand is going to come underneath the left shoulder. You can drop your right temple towards the mat. I like to extend a little bit more in that right hand and really anchor right hand, right shoulder, right inner arm. And the left hand is underneath the left shoulder. You're going to take a nice roll towards that right hip. I'll adjust a little bit on the hands and then maybe left foot stacks onto the right foot, left leg onto the left right leg left hip onto the right hip. 
This might be plenty, or maybe you want to step that left foot back. And just take a nice little stretch here, or you can step the foot down and let the knee open up. Left palm can stay anchored as you draw that left elbow back, so left shoulder moves deeper onto the right shoulder. Or you can pop up onto the left fingertips and then just press that left elbow back towards your right shoulder. Keep a nice 90 degree angle there. And you can feel that left knee peeling open. Feel the tapping into that right shoulder, right deltoid. And then just reminding yourself, nothing should hurt in yoga. So if you feel sensation, sensation's one thing, but if anything feels like a prickling or just painful sensation, back out. Don't, don't go so deep into it. Just be really mindful of your body and mindful of what releases something good for you and what might be too intense. You're welcome to stay here if this feels really nice or if you wanna go a little bit deeper, you can lift that left hand, turn the thumb down and rest the hand towards the lower back. If you can reach for the right hand, you can interlace. Um, I don't think that's ever gonna happen for me, <laughs> but if it's easy for you and it feels really good, you can do that as well. We'll go about three more breaths here. Good. And then slowly come out the same way you came in. Set the hands behind, bring the hand around. If you're on fingertips, press that left palm flat into the earth. Stack the leg. And then slowly transition. And we'll just go immediately into the left side. So left arm extends out. Send the gaze over towards the right. Right hand underneath the right shoulder. Left temple comes down. And then just adjust the hand. Make sure you're rooted down. And then you can stack. Stack the feet, stack the hips, and just adjust the hand. And then if you want, you can step that right foot behind, or you can step the foot down and let the knee bend. And then again, just track that right elbow back towards the right shoulder. You can also pop up onto the fingertips. Give yourself a little bit more here. And then just honor the sides, because one side might be a little tighter than the other. You can close the eyes, relax the jaw, and linger here. Some really nice sensations for that left shoulder. And again, just finding your degrees of openness. And then noticing where your edge is and just kind of playing around with what that feels like. And if you want, you can reach the right arm up, thumb turns down, hand comes to the lower back. And this is a really nice release because you're using the body weight just to draw inwards and get to navigate some depths of that left shoulder, the shoulders, the front of the shoulder. And just remember to relax the head and the neck, couple rounds of breath here, just peeling open. Good, and begin to release. Let that right arm reach up. Right fingertips come down, right palm presses. Really anchor yourself down, and then begin to stack that right leg on top of the left. And then go ahead and roll to the belly. Palm on palm, maybe switch the palms around and relax the third eye down. If you like to curl the toe under, lift the leg and pull the heel back, you can do that here again as well. And maybe wag the tail a little. Okay. And the arms alongside the body, palms press down. Tops of the feet root down, tops of the thighs root down. And I'm just going to want to elevate the head just a little bit here. You can turn the cheek to the side, but I'm just going to look straight down since I'll talk you through it. You feel your ribs rooting down, your, your pubic bone, tops of the thighs, tops of the feet, palms. And the next breath, inhale, just lift as much of your torso 
as you can, keeping length. So, so crown of the head's reaching forward, shoulders are drawing towards the heels, and you feel that engagement on either side of the spine. So just strengthening the back body. Try to relax the glutes as you inhale. Exhale, just lower, hover. Inhale, once again, lift. Engage the muscles on either side of the spine. Feel extra strong here. Exhale as you lower. Maybe you kick it up a notch, the palms lift up. Lift as high as you can. Exhale, lowers you to a hover. Inhale, lifts. Exhale, lowers and hovers. So a lot of times, inhale, lift. A lot of times we'll focus on the legs or the arms or the belly for the abs, but your back body really supports so much. Exhale, lowers you down. Bring the forearms underneath onto the mat, the elbows underneath the shoulders. And then you're going to bring the forearms parallel to each other. Spread the fingers and then give yourself as though you're pulling your body towards the front of your mat. Let the shoulders draw back and down. And then you feel that stretch of the frontal body and then that slight bend in the mid back. So where your ribs meet your spine. And then everybody's flexibility is slightly different. So just feel into yours. If you're good here, stay here. Keep the shoulders drawing back and that broadening of the chest and that just a really gentle back bend. If you want to take it a little bit deeper, you can bring the palms out towards the corners of your mat, press the palms down, and begin to lift the forearms. And then just relax downwards. So you feel the arms supporting the weight of the body. And get a little deeper back bend here, but nothing that's aggressive. And if you're pretty flexible, you know, if you were a kid and you did will pose all the time, or you were kind of like bendy bendy, you're bendy bendy naturally. But if it was really hard for you to do a will pose, your spine just doesn't open that way. And that's okay. Just the nature of the body. I mean, you can stretch the intercostals to give yourself some more range of motion, but don't feel like if you don't do will pose, you're a bad yogi or you're super inflexible. It's just the way the body is sometimes. And that's okay. You're flexible in other ways. You can walk the hands back if you want to get a little bit more. And then again, try not to sink. Give a little lift to your positioning. Feel sturdy and strong. Relax the glutes. Breathe into the belly. Breathe nourishment into the spine. So we're tapping pretty deep into the vertebrae. And just feel that breath. It's really easy rhythm through every vertebrae of the spine. Good. And then slowly come down. I'm going to bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, draw it up. Bring the knees together and come into child's pose. So hips to the heels, arms forward, forehead down. So it's going to kind of slink in and over your body here. And that's the reset for your spine, that back, bend, back bending. And if you like, you can turn palms face up and feel that opening in the upper shoulders and the arms and slowly inhale come up right so we're going to sit on our heels if that's uncomfortable for you you can put a block between the ankles and give yourself some elevation, not too much pressure. If you need discomfort in the knees, you can place uh, a towel or a blanket underneath the knees or a towel behind the knees. Lots of good options there. So whatever's comfortable for you here, lengthen through the spine, roll the shoulders down. And just sit up nice and tall for a moment. Feel the lower ribs drawing back as that tailbone draws down. So if you have a tendency to kind of arch into the back, think neutral spine. So you want to get really perpendicular to the floor with that spine. And then go ahead and circle the arms. Inhale up. 
Exhale, right hand down, left arm up and over. This is a nice side stretch. Draw the left shoulder back. Good. And then left hand down, right arm up and over. Mm, good. And then back to neutral. Circle both arms up. Turn the palms. Bring the hands behind the back. Elbows can stay bent as you squeeze the palms in together. Draw the shoulders. And then if you like, you can begin to straighten the arms. And then we're just neutralizing into both sides. So you did the half T position, opening the deltoids and the shoulders. So this kind of brings both together. Good. Soft bend to the elbow. And then bring the back of that left hand to that right hip or as close as you can get it. Drop the left shoulder down and then drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. And then just feel into it. Maybe the chin lifts or drops down. Sometimes I like to close the eyes here just to send the gaze inwards. And you really get to marinate in that sensation, like good sensation. And again, if your legs are uncomfortable or achy, please, please, please sit up on a prop. Good, and then head back to neutral. Bring the arms back. You can reach through once again, maybe shake it out. Good, remember which thumb was on top, or at least the hands, inhale up. Turn the palms, bring the hands behind the back once again, and then one finger over, opposite thumb on top, reach the knuckles. You can straighten through the arms if that's comfortable and accessible for you. Feel the hugging and the drawing in of those shoulder blades. And then bend the elbows. Back of the right hand to that left hip. Drop the right shoulder and then left ear to the left shoulder. And then you can explore maybe the chin goes down or the chin goes up. And let the head feel heavy for a moment here. When you're ready, you can bring the head back to neutral. Reach the arms, stretch through, maybe shake it out. Lift the pinky edges up, find your full edge. Good, and then release and shake it out. Shake, 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 shake. Up and down, shake, shake, shake. <laughs> shake it out. I love just to kind of like let it hang out and shake out for longer than is comfortable sometimes. It's like when you hug people and you just hug them, you know, a bit longer. It feels really nice to connect. Um, so same thing here, but it's nice to kind of disconnect. So shake, shake, shake. Oh, just let it feel like Gumby arms, just letting go of all of those typing and texting and all the things. <laughs> just let it go. Yeah. And then bring the hands to the kneecaps and just round the back body, scoop the belly back. Exhale fully, 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 fully. And then inhale, reach the heart forward, draw the shoulders back, look up. Exhale round. Inhale. And then exhale. A couple more breaths. Close the eyes if that feels good to you. Good, one more. And inhale. Okay, we're going to just transition into pigeon pose from here. So let's start on the left side. So bring the left knee behind the left wrist. Right leg extends back. And you can reach that right leg back, 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 back. If you need, you can put a, a little prop underneath that left hip if the seat doesn't go all the way down. Fingertips press down. Inhale. If you have discomfort in the knees, you can also... Bring that back knee forward and do a modified version, or you can flip onto your back for eye of the needle. And then if you've got pigeon going, find your way, fingertips down, inhale, lift through the crown of the head, and then exhale, maybe to the forearms. 
you like a pillow underneath the forehead, you can do that as well, or a block if you like to kind of release any tension in the neck. Sometimes that feels really nice. I actually didn't anticipate this feeling really nice and lingering here, but I think I'm going to. <laughs> so belly towards the earth, shoulders back. Feel a nice release of the upper back, the shoulders here. And then just let go of the weight of the head. Melt the weight of the body into your mat. Into the floor. Close the eyes if they're not closed already. And then allow yourself just to be here. Be in the sensations that you feel. Reconnect to your temperament. I'm just noticing how it feels to be at home in yourself. I'm noticing if there's any resistance. Explore that. If you got the welcome mat out and you're comfortable coming in, come in and just be with yourself for a little bit here also. Give yourself another five, six rounds of breath here. And keep that breath just weaving throughout the cells of your body and throughout the muscles and the tendons and the ligaments and joints. Throughout all the beautiful parts that make up your physical form. Nothing but gratitude for your vessel. And then let's press up. Inhale. And we can bring that right leg forward, right knee forward, and then left knee in line with the right knee. So we did this earlier. So let's do those hip swivels again. But this time, start with the left side since you just came from that left pigeon pose. So inhale forward, exhale around. And that feels just the loosening of the body now. Good. And then when we're ready, we'll take that right knee forward. Um, you can take deer pose here if you want to bend that back knee forward and then fold over or eye of the needle if that feels good. Find your way into the hip opener of your choice. Fingertips press down. Just arrive so you kind of lengthen and expand to release and soften. And then just mimicking what you did on the other side here. Find your edge. All right. And even though you're folded into yourself, where are you receptive of energy? So maybe it's the palms of the hands turned up. Maybe it's the soles of the feet. I'm wearing socks because it's cold. <laughs> so um, I feel like I'm kind of receptive, but not really. Um, but the palms of the hands are a great place to just feel receptive and open. Maybe it's the shoulders, just receptive of spaciousness and openness. And unhinge the jaw, relax the mouth and the tongue and the throat. And especially relaxing the throat. I feel like there's so much communication happening nowadays. So many Zoom meetings or... Uh, conversations or even social, you know, even though you're not using your voice in social media, there's still that communication factor. So just allowing the throat to rest, that place of communication is just in a pause. So you're emptying your vessel so that you can create space for yourself.
give yourself a few more rounds of breath. And then slowly press yourself up, palms of the hands underneath the shoulders for stability. You can begin to edge that left knee forward, right leg back, and then we'll do those hip swivels so over to the right. So the left, inhale, and again, push in the knees if there's any achy or discomfort there. Again, one more time, just for good measure. And then let's go wide with the knees, toes together. So as wide as you can go. And if you want to sit back to kind of feel those things open a little bit, pull into the inseams of the legs so you're in the inner abductors. Seat anchors down, and then we'll begin to bring it forward. So maybe you stay on your forearms as you start out just to let the weight sink into the hips. Or... We'll go fist on fist and let the third eye rest into that little funnel that you're creating and relax the shoulders. So you keep that elevation of the torso to keep the weight sinking into the hips. And then you can also use this just as an opportunity to let go of whatever isn't serving you, what are the thoughts in the mind that are holding you back or creating resistance or just not bringing you into the best version of yourself. And just allow those thoughts, those, those ideas that are serving to just filter down into this little fist funnel you created and let it just drain into the the earth and the core. Just imagine the center of the earth is just this fiery core, super hot lava. And you're just sending those ideas and thoughts and ego, anything that doesn't serve you, you're just surrendering it. You're just letting it go. It's letting it drain down in your fist funnels to the center of the core of the earth, just releasing it. And letting go of the not good enough or the exhaustion or the overdoing, the pleasing. Just let go of all of those things. Let it go. Surrender what doesn't serve you. Give yourself a few more breaths here. And inhale, let's come up. So you can linger here in a wide knee child's pose, or if you are comfortable with frog, you're going to shift to the hips forward and you're going to bring the feet flexed feet in line with the knees and you can open the knees up if you want a blanket underneath one knee so you can kind of slide open you can do that and you'll just shift to the hips back slightly and then maybe you come onto blocks or you come onto the forearm so you can keep the hips shifted forward and just kind of gauge it and then if you want to dive in a little deeper you press the hips back keep the feet flexed that protects the knees and then just allow yourself to sit into to some really strong sensations in and around the hips. And then notice if you're transitioning any of that intensity into the shoulders or the jaw or the face or the belly and see if you can just isolate to the hips. And just tell you, this is what sensation feels like. This is what the hips feel like. And the magical part about the hips is it holds a lot of temperament, <laughs> a lot of emotion. So 
and you start to feel really angry or agitated or sad, or frustrated, lean into that. Where you're just uncovering it to let it bubble to the surface. And then can you detach from a feeling? You can notice the feeling without letting it consume you. Like uh, agitation, this is what it feels like in my body. This is what it feels like. So it's kind of gripping around my heart. And then you just breathe it out. Come back in. What do I feel now? What is this moment? How is it resonating? Maybe it's hopeful. Mm, what's hopeful? What's hope in my body? Mm, surrender. What's surrender? And trust. And then you'll slowly press the palms down, support your body, shift the hips, and then ever so slowly edge those knees back in together. Ooh, it's always in the release that you feel the magic of that pose. <laughs> and the sweet release. And then palm and palm, sink out and over, and just a few rounds of breath here just to draw everything back inwards. Feeling okay, maybe better than okay. And then for Shavasana, you're welcome to do Shavasana on the wall with legs up, or you can take traditional Shavasana, legs extended, corpse pose, bodies out, or I'm going to actually finish in a seated meditation. So coming full circle for myself <laughs> and um, just pulling everything in. So if you're feeling you want to lay down, you can do that. If you want to be legs up the wall, go there. If you're good coming back upright, yogi choice and just find your way into a final resting position whatever rounds out your practice for you. And then close the eyes, render the body. You're welcome to stay longer. But if you're ready to move on, you can begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes. If you're on the wall space, you can begin to transition over to one side. If you're in Shavasana traditionally, you can bring the knees in and roll to one side. Never so gently making your way into a comfortable seat. And 
and bringing the palms together to your heart space. Bowing the chin to the chest, taking a moment here of gratitude for yourself and your practice. And honoring that place you can come home to, that place of coziness and ease and just abundance. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your yoga practice. It's an honor and a privilege. Namaste.